All right, I finished coloring my monster, and I started in with a lighter in Indian ink. I don't think it stains it as nice. Um, what I read was that they suggested watering it down, but I don't like it. It's kind of hard to see there. So what I did is I started a new video, and these are the thicker brushes, and this ink will stain, and I think we're not going to water it down. I like it black. Uh, you don't want to just keep rubbing and rubbing. You want to get in there. Like I said, this will stain. You'll work over a piece of paper. The straight ink looks much better than watering it down. It just it just stands out better. Um, if you look at the inside of my mouth, my monster mouth, I'm kind of rolling it around in there. I put some in and then I'm painting it around. And then if you have extra, watch. I'm just going to put it right back in there. You don't want to get it all over the place. Don't overbrush because you want your oil pastels to stay on there. You want to still have some color. And what this Indian ink does is it just stains everything. So your hands are probably going to get black. Again, you want to make sure that you're careful with this when you're painting this. Because if you dropped it, and I'm like I said, I'm hoping you did texture. If you dropped it, it's ruined. I'm going to go back in and do my eyeballs. Get in these little grooves. Make sure I'm covering the whole thing. And then when you're done, it's going to have to dry. You will not be able to take it home today. You can see through my initials. Come in the horn. Get in through his nose. And I have multiple colors here. I like it black. I'm kind of working over this bowl. I wonder if we should just each have your own little bowl. We might have to do that. We'll see. It's dripping everywhere. I'm making a mess. That's okay. I think that's it. And then when you're done, it'll have to dry. And you'll get to take it home. Goodbye, monster.